messed up on that one. So I want to say again, we greet you all on this yom, this first day of the week, here in my little small office. And believe me, it is small. It's you can see how everything is disorganized. I like organization. And here is our Ima. Yabrub Ima. Shalom, Maria. All right. I had shut it off and lost the first recording. Oh, okay. So, Yabrub. Yabrub. We're here. I want to try to keep an update that you all can see the gardens and things like that and how we're doing. Just give you just an optical this first day. Um, water tanks that we do store water and things. This is our little home. You that have never seen it's a small house. I pay fifteen hundred dollars for it. It's one thousand five hundred. And you see all of this. I did this. I built this little room here for my ima, uh, and I did all of this. Uh, she loves flowers. And I built that little office there for me, and this is how we live. Very simple and beautiful, but I love it. Uh, this was a bird cage. I took an old grain bin, cut it off, and we're going to restore this to get some birds for her again. And a little deck area here that most of the wood came from uh, the Achim dismantling decks and things, and they will bring it here and. I use all of it right here, just any piece I could find. I designed this deck the way that I could utilize the wood that we had. Here is our koi. They have gone through the winter. And uh, let me, I'm going to feed them a bit. The winter, I don't feed them at all. I didn't this year put anything out there for them. But I'll give them a little bit, not much. They don't need that much. I'm going to get some larger ones. I had large ones in here, and I tried to clean the pond, and it killed all of them. Here is here. Oh, the koi fish. Let's go. See, it doesn't take much for them. I want some about 10, 12 inches. Ah, beautiful. That's all they need. Beautiful little pond. Let me give you a look of it again. I built all of this by myself. As far as the decking and all of that digging the hole and putting the line and laying those stones around it. I'm the type, I use anything that we got. Don't give us something, I will use it. Look at what it is. I will use it and everything you see here in our community, everything you see, it is stuff that people didn't want. But this, this was the prize for my babies. A little gem that they can come out anytime. Basketball goal for the little girls. And not for the boys, but they I found them out there many times playing. Simple life. I delight in it. I rejoice in it. This is how we live. I remember buying these rockers here at Lowe's quite some years ago. Only nineteen dollars. It was out of season. And I found them to be the best lawn chairs you could get. And they have gone up to $69 per chair now. You can't even, they don't even stay in stock. But I purchased these at a time whereby they were cheap, $19 per chair. And then me being a veteran, I got a 10% discount. And so I rejoiced in that. This is our little dwelling place how we live, sunflowers and everything. Growing, we certainly do garner the water and all of that, you never know. We got a tank like that will cost you today $3,500. I got it for around 100 in the day, but that was a lot of money. But the sunflowers and all that, the seeds are coming, the children, we got pollination here with the bees we have a lot of these we have our own hives as well so we see the pollination the children want to know when the seeds are ready when they get all dry then you can you can begin to stink bugs 
We got to start a little late this year on everything. I did. No one's fault but mine. As I was, I was battling a sickness. I, I know what it was. Some bacteria had invaded my body, and I know exactly the process. And my Ima Rafael, she, she took care of me. She, she found the remedies and put me on a certain you know, eating format. And it certainly has helped me. These are flowers of all kind here in this bed here. Everything, the corn, this corn this year didn't do well, this multi-colored corn, but this has of corn in this bed. This bed will be filled with broccoli and cauli cauliflowers and things like that. You know, someone wrote and said, well, you can't, you know, mixing seeds. You don't even know the implication of that, my friend. You don't. He's talking about, the, he's talking about a type. If you go out, any of you, and just go down to the natural setting of things, everything that is organic, you find every kind of flower, everything blooming, they grow so well, and it is for the advantage of each plant. While sweet potatoes and corn, well, they are the same family. And when you don't study these kinds of things, we just speak because we read something and we don't even understand the very dynamics of what we're reading. Ah, uh, the okra. It, this is some of the first okra we planted. And all of that is coming. We're going to eat okra. I love me some okra. I love it fried too. I can eat okra in any kind of way. And around our fellowship, it's a beautiful place. Our fellowship for the daughters, that's what I call it. And uh, some of the flowers did not do as well. Some did, you can see. And the playground for the children. These are some of our sukha. I'm going to, this one here, I'm going to put a deck on it and furbish it up real nice. I have the strength to do those kinds of things, but to furbish this up, I did all of this from the beginning. Corn and sweet potatoes, they grow well. You see the mound of sweet potatoes? The roots of corn, they are very shallow. And so, so they do not take anything from the sweet potatoes. These go deep. These are nothing but flowers. And these are the same family uh, as maize and every kind of grain. These are considered uh, a flower. And if you look here, look at the different flowers and things that grow together. You can almost eat everything on the ground here. Everything. You can eat that. There's nothing you can't eat. Fig trees. Everything you can eat here. Everything. This is Yah's plan for his nation, his people. This right here. Do you see how wild this grow here? That is what we call lamb's quarter. You that are in the islands, you will know very well what this is because you love it. It is a veggie. I love lamb's quarter. We had a friend at one time from Jamaica. Wow. And she would cook, she would, oh, she loves some lamb's quarter. And she wanted every piece of it. Everything. Big trees and things. Those are Bradford pear trees. You can't see them, but the pears are growing. We used to have an orchard here. You can see the pears. Let me see if I can get close enough that you can see the pears on the tree. And the children love them. And these are Bradford pears. You can see them. We planted that tree. I don't know. It's been some years. This is another sukha. We're going to put it right here. That is facing in this direction this is this is our type of gardening that we're going to do for now we're trying to get everything organized to get our USDA certified uh, uh, organic certification see the sweet potatoes and weeds we gotta weed this out tomorrow we have corn growing here. Bit of corn. 
We have squash and eggplants here. Oh, we got the water system on timers. There it goes. We like to do it first thing in the morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got timers on them. You can come get the stream. Right, I'm on the way. And uh, these are plants. Squash. This summer has been a strange one for us. It hasn't even started, but it's usually hot this time of the year. You see the tomato plants and of all kind. We have all kinds of tomato plants here. And uh, they're growing well. The marigolds, we are putting in drip irrigation all in these beds. We got beans here. You're gonna have plate with beans and everything you grow. You're gonna have some difficulties. I've been doing this for too long not to tell you that you will not, the peppers and all. And this was not the normal summer start here for us. It's hot even in May. And it wasn't that way. I began to we even have peppers grown on these, sweet peppers. And I put all of these plants, I started them basically in the month of January, second week. And uh, you see, so many wonderful things here. The marigolds have wart off certain kinds of nematodes and aphids. And so that's why we integrate these things among each other. Flowers, see the different flowers, the marigolds and all. Yellow tom tomatoes. We'll be eating out of here when we began to eat. We're going to eat. A chimbri over there mowing his grass. Beautiful home he has. We share with each other. Yeah. No one. No one has more than anyone we have the same. Uh, that house, it's a beautiful home. That what I spent for that house, I spent 4000 for that house and it moved here. That's what I spent. And he loves to take care of things. Believe me. A lot of things to be neat and clean. And all of that. The mobile homes, we take them. That's what I forgot. This faucet here is leaking. You was a dog. You was a dog. Akio Asadak, you read me? This is how we communicate. We all have these. I forgot to tell you, son, that faucet here in front of the guest house where the garden is, is leaking big time. I intended to tell you last week. Did you read me? Did I come through? Did I come through? You was it up, you read me? You was it up. You was it up. This faucet in front of this guest house is leaking big time. I intended to tell you last week. Okay, yes, sir. I'm coming now. Hey, Gabru. Let me show you the garden. Isn't that beautiful? Come on, you Saraya. We can't eat all this. Cabbages, tomatoes. Look, the tomatoes are growing. I love me some green tomato. Fried. I don't want it boiled or any other way. How we can eat. That's my Sephora. She's waving. Let me see. Where is she? I don't see you. Walk closer. This is our beautiful young daughter. She's Ayon. Beautiful plants. Simple life. 
Hace porra. Shalom, shalom. They usually go out. She's, her father always takes my wife out because I don't like to go. All right, ya baruch. And uh, that one right there, son. Okay, yes, sir. That one over there. Uh, plenty of fresh veggies and broccoli. And everything is growing. Everything kale. It's just plenty of food. Plenty of it. Wonderful things to eat. Broccoli. I tell you, this kale here, this is called winter boar. And if you want to grow a kale that is very productive, this is one of them, all right? You're going to have blight. I don't care how many plants you grow. You're going to have things like that. That's going to happen. But that will not outweigh the bountifulness of the crop. That is so beautiful. I just delight in being out here looking and just enjoying everything. Simple lifestyle, but it's beautiful. Beautiful. All oh, the carrots and things growing. We grow in these bins. We and look at what kale is this? This is Starboro. We haven't even picked any of this. But this is how we do things. Flowers and I planted all of this and look at the carrots. Look at those beds. Nothing but all different. It's about one, two, two or three different types of carrots. And herbs and things in here, flowers. And all my lamb's core has been eaten up by, I don't even know what that bug is. We got to identify it. And mints, things like that. Growing here. Uh, we have we have an abundance of things we really do you all can do the same it's going to take a little work now a little energy samaras here got different types here and cukes over here these are called these are called be it alpha be it and these need no pollination. It was cultivated in the land of, we call Israel, but all throughout that part of the world, they all grow their own type. And so we got different types here, different types. I've been out here working this morning, making sure everything is done, We're taking care of the things that we need to and must take care of. So I've enjoyed this morning up early I'm an early bird that catches the worm. And now we have what we call these beautiful, let me show you, beautiful squash. These beautiful squash, I've never grown them, but this type of squash we've watered this morning and fertilized and all of that. But it is a squash that grows well. It is called, I got these from Park Seeds. I diff use a variety of seeds. It is called Smooth Criminal. I've never grown them. You can see we got those mounted to, to the T-posts. These are some uh, runner peas. If, if these are Japanese right here. Tomatoes in here. And so onions, look at that onion. You got a while before the onions because when you see the bub, you see the bub developing, let me see. On a plant, you will know it's time at the end, at the top. You cut that bub off because that's the, the bub, the onion is going to cease to grow. And we have in here all kinds, we have, uh, we have, uh, okra and things that enrich the soil i wanted to put out these but i never did these are watermelons i started but i i don't know if i'm going to put them out because they're things let me show you this before we, hallelujah i'm a happy man very happy i'm happy i got everything i need here i like to work too work hard 
But these are things here. Look at that. And we think we actually live in you Hebrews, right? You live in rat holes when I say that in cities that are so congested and you're saving what? No one. We live independent of each other. You move in communities where the people don't even want you there. This is ours here. This is our land. We pay no taxes on it because we are qualified as, quote, a judge. We the assembly of Yisrael Yair. Look at this. This is a bed that I was going to plant. You got a big backyard, put your bed like that. Spend the money. You understand that? And I showed us a week ago this piece of land that we we're prepping for our fruit. We used to have every kind of fruit tree. We had quite a bit of people here. We had 142 people here. And many of them left. Well, most of them left. But that did not deter us that we're here. We're not saddened by their leaving. We're not, it did not disrupt anything. We're glad. And uh, these are barrels ready for storage, from grain, from flour to everything. I got this old white boy, he likes me. And I don't play with him. I talk about his type of politics and let him know that it's just bull. I do. But look at this. All this was full of trees. All of this. And all of this is going to be an orchard. From trees to bushes and everything. All of this. And all these trees are coming down. You see that big freezer right there? We built that. We got to paint it. With old parts and things that people didn't want. Preacher, you want to buy that? I certainly do. And I would buy it. Building this. We got an oven here that will bake bread, wood burning, or even we can utilize. You see that? That's an oven for inside. State of the art appliances and everything. We have all of that. You see this deck in here? All this wood was thrown away, but they knew that the preacher would take it. But I did. Everything. Because I knew that it could be used. And this is a, that house right there is what they call the cloth house. We had a person here that was very connected with a lot of people and she would search things to see and find those that would give things to those that are called, quote, a church. The Air Force took our young ones up in planes and all of that. They did. Well, what do you do? Well, we mind our business. Our children are not liking anything. Matter of fact, their parents all took them to the zoo recently. They're children that never go to things like that. Period. So we take care of each other. That's just a fact. Back. Ah, this is my little job here. I set up this guest house a little bit. My Isho and Zahinya Ramaya's wife, they planted flowers and things. We live simple, but it's beautiful, simple living. It is. I just transplanted these this morning, these squash. Here you can plant, uh, these are cucumbers. You can plant cucumbers up until uh, July. We can grow year round. Base. We can grow every month. We can plant every month except December and January. Tomatoes, these were little babies here. They were small like this when I put them out. Beautiful. It is such a pleasant that I can walk out of my back door of my office 
And this is what greets me in the morning. All these onions. We harvest these, we will put cabbages here. Growing of the onions will help the soil in the sense that nematodes and things, they don't like onions. And so all of this, we will not plant the same thing in the same space. We don't do that. Lettuce and things like that. Letting the lettuce go bitter. Because we have so much. This is what we call clover here. This is the best thing to plant in a garden. Turn it in. It's a wonderful thing. This is an area right here we're working on. That uh, we will have bins. A bin garden like the bins over here. Like those black ones there. Whereby the daughters can come out and get whatever they want for the meal that day. We will have an assortment of things. And then if they wanted to pick fruits or anything like that. I'm going to just grow fruit bushes. Bushes this year. I'm going to start them, get them in the fall of the year. And put about 50 in here. Space between them. And so they can enjoy that. They can have plenty to eat. Come right in and eat. And just rejoice. That's what living is. That's what living is. Stricken in every kind of poverty. The people that look like me. And all these assemblies were the men that... These whole houses, these dog houses. Where these men take advantage of everyone. They're dirty dogs. They're bastards. I don't care who it is. Let me show you this. I'm going to keep this. That's our, you see that smoke coming up out of there? That's our boiler. It supplies the hot water for our shower house, for the dining hall. We cut trees, all those trees right there, we're going to cut them down. And all that wood will supply what we need. That's our Zahin Yaramiyah's house there. I paid for that house um, between, if I recall right, 3,000. Look at that. He built all of that on it. He built that. Everything you see, he built it. Very skilled man. His wife keep things. Look at how pretty it is. And this is my sukha. I built me one. This is what I never go in here or sleep in here until the feast. This is where we sleep. My Isha and I. I built this out of strap and throwaway wood. Had to purchase the panels. Little fiberglass up there. Got it for nothing, basically. I just used it. It's a cold place when, when the when the feast falls at that time when it's cold. This is what I've been working on here. I've been taking all those strap wood we have on the other side. And I've been using that to build this, the retainer walls and everything. And um, I had to purchase some lumber. And this is what I'm working on. I'll work on this tomorrow and put benches here where they can sit or I can grow plants on that. Or like this bench, they can come out and sit around here. Then have fruit bushes out here. I'm not going to put trees but you'll be surprised how big of a tree you can grow in just a, a 55 gallon drum or something like that. You will be surprised. Cut them in half and you'll be surprised